Scrappy, we've already seen Sundial. This is their first match of the day. Four, three, two, one. Fight Robots, fight. Wow. Scrappy is really getting uh, the, the better of these these exchanges. For sure. And Sundial is showing incredible reliability. It's just been able to bounce all around the box, and it looks like that weapon is down on Scrappy. Yeah, that's going to change the dynamic of this fight going forward by a lot. Now we've got both weapons up to speed. Scrappy still getting the, the upper hand on these weapon to weapon contacts. Scrappy likes to use its opponent's weapon to self right, which I think is a really impressive strategy. Nice move there from Scrappy. Sundial's weapon does not seem to be functioning anymore. Oh, there we go. It's working again. Oh, but. Doesn't really matter in these weapon to weapon contact. Scrappy's getting the upper hand almost every single time. Sundial trying to get itself into a position where it can drive appropriately. Oh, Scrappy on its side. There we go, able to get himself back onto its wheels. This is a strange match, Kyle. Yeah, it's a lot of flailing, a lot of flopping, a lot, a lot of lot destruction, of not a lot of connection. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, it seems like Sundial does a fair amount of flipping itself around the box just through its own kinetic force of that weapon. Big ol' hub on that weapon. Sundial and Scrappy trying to finish out this bracket for us. 60 seconds left in this fight. A little bit of the wedge lip missing off of Sundial there. Scrappy seems to be having a little bit of trouble with the left side of its drive. Still able to move with its gyroscopic forces, but uh, it's not moving as, in a, as controlled a manner as it was earlier in this fight. And now Sundial getting a little bit of an upper hand on these weapon-to-weapon -weapon contacts. In the war of attrition, Sundial holds up a little bit better, oddly enough, because Sundial seems to be doing most of its damage to itself. Down to the last 14 seconds of this match, it looks like this one's gonna end up going to the judges. Five, four, four three, three, two, one. That's the match. Went the full three minutes. Kyle, fantastic. All right, let's go to the judges. We'll do a little bit of a, an analysis on what that was. Let's start with you, Don. It was a big old fight. Um, so what I saw was Scrappy winning most of the ex exchanges. Even whenever Scrappy lost its one wheel, and it was doing its crab walking thing. It was still doing a good job keeping its weapon towards the, its opponent and still managing to get some good hits in. Um, based on that, I'm I'm saying Scrappy. scrappy. All right, Craig, what's your thoughts? Well, uh, I actually thought the sundial towards the end of the fight was uh, was far more in control of it however the two and a half minutes beforehand were all scrappy um i'm gonna have to give it to scrappy all right all right final yes. thoughts i'm similar to craig i gotta say that uh scrappy had the first more than half thirds of the fight winning all of the exchanges and uh even though sundial did bring it back at the end he just couldn't stay upright um too much gyro too much time humping himself into the wall trying to get back to his wheels couldn't really show any aggression because every time he turned too sharply he'd flip over again just can't quite make it happen so it's got to go to scrappy unanimous right. decision for scrappy scrappy moves on in this tournament and thank you guys uh, very much craig danby is uh 
changing t-shirts between his uh i noticed that too his judging sessions i don't mind i wonder how many t-shirts we might see today from uh from craig it, it might end up being a long stream we'll see i mean we're moving through these matches very quickly today this is uh very impressive what our bot wranglers are doing um any